Sounds good. Clear? Yep. All right, guys, we're back up here at the sawmill. It's been a long, hot day here in Tennessee. We've got a lot done. I just didn't film a lot today because me and Dad was trying to take advantage of this nice weather and put up some of that siding. And what we're doing down there is boarding, batting, siding. If you're not familiar with that, I'll try to find some pictures of it. So what we're doing is we're putting those one by tens on there and they're gonna shrink over time. This stuff's green. We can keep it flat with the nails, but it is gonna shrink on the width. Gosh, probably about, maybe three eighths or so, maybe more than that on the edges. Depends on how hot it gets down there this summer and how much the humidity comes up on us. But as it shrinks, you need a batten strip over that seam to cover that up. And that's why I'm getting ready to saw right here. And we're gonna saw these on three quarters on the thickness and that's plenty enough material for this batten strip to do what it needs to do. So we're gonna take this poplar, turn it up on its side, set the pattern cutting for three quarters of an inch and go through this pretty fast. I got a silver tip turbo seven on the sawmill right there. And I won't be dragging these boards back because I found on the drag back feature, if you have a one inch board or thicker, you're fine. If you start doing less than that, it kind of loses the grip out there on the very end of it. And also a board just being two and a half inches on the width, the wind chimes won't even catch it. So it'll kind of go side guard or everywhere. So uh, we won't be dragging these back today. We'll go through this pretty fast. And a new word for you guys, side guard. You may have heard that word before. That's when a board goes back sideways or something ain't going right for you. Side goggle. I would spell it for you, but I have no idea. So anyways, guys, I'm sitting here doing some language and arts class here. People always ask me about the stuff I've talked about on this channel, and it's kind of interesting, I guess, for you people to hear how we talk here in Northeast Tennessee. And uh, that's some of the odd things that we say, side goggle. That's an old uh, Appalachian term, actually. Pretty interesting, though. So we've got the sawmill ready, we've got the turbo seven, we've got diesel in the lubrication tank. And we just need to turn this thing on and get going. I'm gonna shut up and start sawing. We'll get this done, then we're gonna throw some other boards up here and edge them down to 10 inches on the width. That's some more poplar from that last log. 
and then we're gonna start some yellow pine. So hang in there with me, guys. Got a lot going on here this evening. It's about 7.30, gosh. It's actually 7, I need a new watch. My got sawdust all over this thing. It's about 7.40. So I got about an hour of good sawing time here before the neighbors go to bed. So hang in there with me, guys. We'll see what we can get done. So what we're doing, we're putting those one by tens on there. And this stuff's green, it's gonna shrink on you. These are one by tens. I said that three times in a row, they're one by tens. I'm gonna get a shirt that says one by tens. Good, state's alive. All right guys, we're back up here at the sawmill. It has been a long, hot day here in Tennessee, I'll tell you, me and dad about burned up. We about burned up, about burned up. Follow me for more catchy phrases about burned up. My goodness. You know, you put 100 nails per board if you want to, but it's still gonna shrink. The wood is stronger than the nails when it comes to seasonal contraction. Contraction. It's contracting, it's gonna have a child. My goodness. 